Florida State at Clemson. That line is minus two and a half, 55 and a half is the total. Uh, these two teams, I think Florida State less so than Clemson, but I don't think people expected Clemson to look as bad as they did in week one. Some question marks remain for Clemson. Some question marks remain maybe for Florida State after an interesting game against Boston College. Where are you leaning for this one? Yeah, so I think this point spread is created by the results of week one. That's Sunday night. Florida State looks awesome in the last 20 minutes against LSU and ends up winning by margin. And the next night, Monday night, standalone game, Clemson loses to Duke. And it was a concerning performance of Clemson because they only scored seven points. However, turnovers plagued them. It was actually a second half where they didn't punt at all. So I think there was maybe a little bit of a misleading result there where like if they don't fumble in the red zone when they're about yeah. to go into score maybe they win the game and our perception of Clemson is different so because of that if I had to bet this game it would be taking the points of Clemson Ooh. the home underdog in this game I really wish Florida State looked better against Boston College because I think we get the plus three and then I'd bet real money on Clemson to win this game but for the sake of the show just Clemson lean plus two and a half Colby I'm all with Nate come on now I, I'm, I'm with Nate but I'm gonna wait until Saturday to bet this because I feel like it will creep up to three, hopefully three and a half. Because you know I love three and love a half. The hook. I mean, if everyone's oh, hammering man. Florida State just based off them being ranked fourth and thinking it's too low, it's literally a trap. Like Clemson, sure they they, they played horrible against Duke. They that's probably their worst game in a long time that I've seen. And if you take out the turnovers in the red zone, they're in that game. So with that, give me sadly the Dabo Clemson Tigers. I'm interested to see the Florida State healthy offensive line because supposedly they're supposed to get a little bit more healthy on the offensive line this upcoming weekend. Their offense is powerful, and I don't know if Clemson can keep up with that if they are playing at their best. If their fully O-line is healthy, if Travis is healthy, if you have their wide receivers just outgunning the defensive backs for Clemson, I mean, this is the team that's fifth in the country in points per play. They can just destroy teams just with their offense. I'm going to take Florida State minus 2.5 for this one. I don't feel super strongly about it, um, but I, I think the right side is Florida State. One thing about you, Ben, I love that you're always the odd guy. I know. I got I to gotta start some fights here. You, know, you got to be able to have a, you gotta have a little different than the rest of them. 